What's going on boxing fans? It's Julian Williams with The Distance. I got a prediction video for you guys today. This one is Robert Stieglitz versus Edward Gutenek for the WBO Super Middleweight Championship. WBO puts together the two, you know, puts together the champion Robert Stieglitz against the up and coming challenger Edward Gutenek. Edward Gutenek just just became qualified for that championship and eliminated the battle against Curly Balze um, on like December the 4th of 2009 and hasn't fought since but he did stay he did stay busy in 2009 fighting like three fights though though not against the greatest opposition he did stay busy and you know one one pretty good victory was over Ruben Williams where he stopped him in like the fifth round had a had a very good showing against him because because you know, he, he pretty much just kept coming forward and was able to get his shots off against Ruben Williams and wear him down. Um, Edward Gutenek does a very good job of coming forward and punching. And, you know, but the problem with Gutenek, though, is his defense is, he doesn't really have much defense, doesn't have much head movement. And now he's coming against the champion, Robert Stieglitz, who's been in the ring with some very good fighters. Been in the ring with Balze, who, you know, who, they both have in common. They both have fought Balze, but but Robert Stieglitz has faced LeBron Andrade, another very good good fighter, and Alejandro Barrio, another was another good another good super middleweight. So Robert Stieglitz, you know, has been in the ring. He has some pretty good experience, and you know, really, this is a I guess Balze was a good step up for Gutenek. And to prepare him for this fight, because because as I mentioned, both of them have been in the ring, you know, with him. And Robert Stieglitz is a very technical fighter. He was, he's technical. He could counter very well. But you know, the problem with with Robert Stieglitz though is he doesn't handle pressure very well. But on to the fight. Edward Gutenek in this fight needs to come out and attack and attack the full twelve. And this is and this is why he needs to attack. We saw in the LeBron and Andrade fight that Robert Stieglitz does not like being attacked. He doesn't really answer. He doesn't really have a way of answering back to being attacked. And LeBron and Andrade was able to, who's who I do think is a more solid puncher than much, much more solid, more you know, more powerful puncher than than Gutenek. You know, was able to, to land all kinds of shots on Stevens. He was able to go to the body and mix it up to the head, and just made him go back because Robert Stevens has this tendency to sometimes when he when he gets hit, he just jumps back. And Gutenek does a very good job of coming forward with pressure and uses his hand speed to pressure fighters. And he needs to do that in this fight. He needs to pressure him with his hand speed. He needs to attack and. And not even give Stieglitz that chance to answer back. Though Stieglitz can counter very well, I do think that that Gutenek really needs to work on that head movement in this fight. You know, so really that's what Gutenek needs to do. He needs to come forward. He needs to attack and pressure Robert Stieglitz, the full the full twelve, in order to win the WBA. Super, I mean WBO, excuse me, Super Middleweight Championship. He needs to come forward. He needs to pressure, and and actually get, try his best to use that hand speed to get Stieglitz on the ropes. If he gets Stieglitz on the ropes, and he, and he can, you know, that's where Gutenek, you know, can go to work. So really, that's what he needs to do. In this fight for Robert Stieglitz, second defense of his championship. First was against Ruben Acosta, January the 9th when he knocked him out in the fifth round. I, I believe that Robert Stieglitz has to get out of his comfort zone in this fight. He has to get out of his comfort zone so that one, he doesn't get pressured by the hand speed of Gutenheck. And two, there and two he does need to um get out of his comfort zone, you know, simply because we saw what happened in the Andrade fight when he got worn down. You know, the question is, can Gutenek wear Robert Stieglitz down? The number one way for Stieglitz to win this fight is timing. That's the number one element in this fight for Robert Stieglitz. 
because it's always been said timing the gate speed. Though Edward Gutenek is a has very good hand speed, he doesn't necessarily have, you know, you know, that big one punch knockout power. So really Robert Stieglitz needs to take a risk in this fight. He needs to take the risk and he needs to land solid shots in this fight. He needs to he does he does, you know, stand that shell kind of, it's not necessarily a tight shell, but you know, he needs to he needs to get out of that comfort zone this just for this fight basically. He needs to like I said, you know, timing, he needs to counter. He needs to counter those speedy shots coming in. You know, and other than then time and encounter he needs pretty much he he needs to land that right hand that wide right hand that loop and right that's really what he needs to do in this fight he needs to land that loop and right hand because he does a very good job of landing that and Gutenek does get get caught with right hands he gets caught with right hands so really that's what Stiegels needs to do he needs to time he needs to counter and he needs to try to take him out in this fight and me, I'm I'm really not sure about this fight. Who's who should who's gonna win? But I want to go with Edward Gutenek in this fight. I think that he can maintain a very good work rate, and I think he could wear. I just think that he could wear Stiegel's down with the hand speed and the pressure. Though, if any fire right now who in the super middleweight division, you know, can expose. You know these flaws that Gutenek ha has. You know Robert Stevens should be able to, but the question is, will he get out of that comfort zone to exploit those flaws? You know the the you know not moving his head. You know co consistently coming forward. You know Stevens has to have a lot of lateral movement. And he's not really the type of fighter that moves side to side. You know he comes forward, and Gutenek I think can wear him down. He does. A very good job of jumping in and getting his shots off and jumping out, and as, and as well he 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 can get his shots off on the inside as well. So really, I think Gutenek is going to be the fighter that gets his shots off first. I think Stieglitz Stieglitz could take him out. Don't get me wrong. I think that Stieglitz could take him out if he wanted to. You know, if he if he ties him and counters him and, and frustrates him, but I don't think that Stieglitz will do that. So me, I'm going to go with Edward Gutenek. You know, ballsy pick, but I'm going to go with Eric Gutenek by, I say decision. I'm going to go with Eric Gutenek, decision, new WBO, super middleweight champion. But anyway, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.